Hi there, so today we're going to look at uh, the MACD indicator, Moving Average Convergence Divergence. This is a classic trend following device, so it's a lagging indicator. Um, it's not going to anticipate a movement in a chart, but it's going to lag behind there. But the idea is markets move in trends, stocks move in trends, and this will help you capture that. So looking at a chart here of American Airlines, we're looking at a daily chart looking uh, back for the last year, and then we have the MACD indicator at the bottom. So the idea is you have the MACD line in black, you have the signal line in red, which just smooths out the MACD line, and you're looking for when they uh, cross up and cross down, and that gives you a general sense of the trends on the chart. Um, the way that this is actually calculated, it's looking at the difference between two exponential moving averages, the 12-day and the 26-day exponential moving averages. All that means is it's smoothing out the price movements over a certain period of time, looking at the difference between those two and, and trying to identify when they uh, cross, when the short-term trend is different from the long-term trend. So in this chart of American Airlines, you can see a series of bullish signals when it crosses up through the red signal line and bearish signals where it crosses down. And the general idea is it's not going to hit on the exact top or bottom. It's going to lag behind just a little bit, but it gets you in the bulk of the trend and, and, and a market that tends to trend, you will tend to be on the right side of it. Two other things to mention about this indicator. The other one is there's a histogram in the middle, what I'd call the MACD histogram, and that essentially shows you the difference between those two moving averages. It can be a secondary indication, a measure of momentum. So uh, for example, here you can see as the uh, market went down, as the stock went down in December, the trend is going down, lower lows, the MACD indicator going down, but you can see the MACD histogram starts to slope higher a little bit. That just tells you the momentum is uh, lessening a little bit, so still in a downtrend, but a little less momentum. It can be a little bit of a leading indicator. Now, one other indicator, my other point I wanted to mention, there's another indicator on stockcharts.com called the PPO, the Percent Price Oscillator. Um, and I'll bring that up very quickly. They're very, very similar, and actually they will visually appear identical. So here we're looking at the two indicators together, the MACD indicator here, and then at the very bottom, the PPO, or the Percent Price Oscillator. You can see that visually they look identical, they're the same, but the ranges, the actual values are what's going to be different. See, MACD is based on moving averages, so the values themselves are based on the price of the underlying instrument, the stock or whatever it's trading at. The PPO is standardized, it's based on a percent basis. So using the PPO instead will allow you to make a more apples to apples basis comparison across stocks and across assets can be a nice, uh, a nice additional tool.